Hi guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will continue to build on the onboarding view controller and we also want to discuss on the bug that we had in the previous video where the uh, new image on this uh, launch screen is not updating. So for some reason, I did some research and I realized that this is an ongoing bug in Xcode which is quite surprising. So when you do a search on launch screen, image not updating, you actually get a bunch of discussions that's ha happening over here. It says that the launch screen file is forever cached. So uh, one of the suggestions that uh, they had was actually to use a different um, was to use a different uh, simulator. So I did that for a while. I played with that for a while and it looks like uh, when I use the iPhone 11 Pro, it is showing the correct uh, launch screen image over here as you can see over here and uh, for some reason uh, after using this for a while and when I switch back to the previous simulator that I was using it started to work so there is some kind of uh, some dark magic in Xcode <laughs> I can't really explain why but guys if you are still uh, not seeing the updated image maybe you can consider changing the simulator all right and i believe this should not affect the production app if you are to put it up onto the app store or to sidechain it onto a physical device all right so i don't want to waste too much time on that but uh, i think this is something to take note of if you are creating another app just make sure that you are careful to use the uh, image uh, on the launch screen all right, so I'm just going to continue using the previous simulator that I'm using and let's come over to the onboarding view controller. All right, so this, uh, this in this video, what we want to do is to update the text every time I swipe the slides over here. All right, so I have three slides over here and I will have three different set of uh, text over here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to come over to slide and I just want to update the title and the description and I've already created some uh, I've already populated the, um, the the title and the description and I'm just going to attempt to just paste it in there and you can copy uh, mine or you can just uh, input uh, whatever that you want over here and I'm just going to paste this and you can see and you can choose to uh, copy mine if you want to have a more consistent experience with this tutorial so let me just quickly paste them in. Oops, nothing is showing. Let me just copy it one more time. Paste that in. Okay. Uh, oh, not this one. Um, whoops. Safe and secure. And the last description okay and uh just the full stop over here all right so guys you can pause the video and just copy this in if you want to have a consistent experience and i'll just leave this as such all right so i'm going to go back to the onboarding view controller and i want to introduce you another method that we have over here and this is called the scroll view did end decelerating and what this method does is that every time the scroll view uh ends every time the scroll view ends the deceleration all right this method will be caught all right so let me just uh, print out something over here and let me just type that in let index equals to int scroll view dot um, content offset dot x divide by int scroll view dot frame dot width okay so what this does is that it uh, it, it calculates the content offset of the, of the scroll view and it divides that by the total width of the scroll view and what this uh, returns is actually the index of the of the uh, collection view cell all right so we need this to uh, populate the right uh, title and text uh, from the slide all right so maybe before that let me just quickly print out the index over here so that uh, you have an idea uh, what this does first okay index and let me just run the project okay so as i slide notice that now this the console is showing one if i slide backwards it's going to be zero if i if i slide right twice which is the which is the last image i'm getting index two all right so that's pretty much what this does 
And uh, I'm going to come over here to the top and let's create some IB outlets first. So if you see over here on my onboarding view controller, we have these two labels over here and we have not connected it yet. So let's quickly do it now. Let's come to the onboarding view controller and under the uh, collection view IB outlet, I'm going to create two other IB outlets. IB outlet with var. So let's call this title label. Okay, this is going to be of type UI label. And I'm going to create another one, IB Outlet with var. Uh, let's call this description label. And this will be of type UI label as well. Okay, I'm going to go back to the main.storyboard and I'm going to connect these two labels. Again, same thing. We're going to come up to the onboarding view controller over here. Uh, right click on it, and which opens this, uh, this uh, panel over here. And let's look for the title label. I'm going to click the plus button and connect this to the first one, the first label over here. And for the description label, I'm going to click this, drag, and also just let go when this is being highlighted. All right, so now that we have connected the uh, UI labels, we can proceed to populate uh, the, the, the text on the labels. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create a function over here. Let's create a private function private func and maybe I just call this uh, show caption and let me uh, just close this very quickly okay so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put in a label over here at index and this will accept uh, an integer over here okay so as you know over here this returns to us the index of the uh, collection view cell and I can very simply just call this show caption over here and just pass the index right in here. Okay, so over here, what I can do is to get the slide first. So let's slide equals to slide dot collection. All right, and I'll just put in the index over here and uh, let's uh, let's populate the, sorry, let's uh, show the text on the label, on the title label. So we can do it this way, title label dot text equals to slide dot title. Okay, and description label dot text equals to slide dot description. Okay, so let me just command R to run the simulator. Okay, while the simulator is, uh, is running, I think uh, we might not need the setup views. Do we need the setup views? Okay, I think we do. Let me just keep this first. Okay, so as I slide the, uh, the collection view cell to my right, Notice that the text is changing as well as I slide it to uh, to the next one. It shows the next uh, caption as well. So I think this is uh, according to plan. So you can actually just uh, modify the text over here as you please. Okay, the next thing we want to do is that we want to ensure that the page control is consistent with uh, the swiping as well. So very simply, uh, at the bottom over here under the scroll view, the end is accelerating. Uh, we want to uh, uh, modify the uh, page control, but it seems like we don't have a reference to the page control. So at the moment, let's create the IB outlet again, with var, and let's call this page control, and this will be of type UI page control, okay? And let's go back to the main storyboard and let's do the same thing again to connect the IB outlets. Okay, right click on this guy here and let's find page control which we have just created. Click on this plus and let's connect to this and let go. All right. So now that this is connected, let's come down to the bottom and uh, we can actually uh, just do self dot page control dot selected. I think what, what is that thing called? Uh, let me have a look. Oh, it says current page. Okay, so dot current page equals to index. So I believe this should uh, work fine. I think there's no need for us for the self. So I'm just going to remove this and let me hit the command R button to just run the simulator one more time. All right. So as I move this, okay, the page control is updating. And I think I'm I'm having a pretty uh, consistent experience over here. Okay, a few things I want to change over here. Uh, probably let me just quickly do it over here. Let me go to the main.storyboard. And uh, I'm just going to change a little bit of the constraints over here under the get started button. I'm going to click on the size inspector. And under the uh, trailing and leading anchor instead of 24, I just want to make it 36. Okay. 
and the leading anchor i'm gonna make it 36 as well so that we kind of flush with this uh with this um label over here as well and what else do we want to do okay let's come to the onboarding view uh view controller and under setup views i'm just gonna set a couple of colors over here okay so the view dot background color equals to system group background color and the reason why we want to do this is because if we come over here and if i um if i dr drag this there's going to be two different shades okay so we want it to be consistent okay so i'm just gonna do it this way and um uh, what else um i think uh that's about it actually okay let me save it and let me just run the project All right, so now we have the same tone, which is a lot easier to see. And I think this looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yep, pretty simple. And uh, when we click the start button, the login sign up page uh, launches. So guys, in the next uh, lecture, we will be looking at the login sign up page. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.